Hi guys, right, today we're here to do a little project, um, as I've showed you before, I got from, I think I got it from eBay actually, but it's from Crafters Companion for Gemini, um, was the box, small box die, um, and that's, this one goes as the lid, which is the Art Deco um, stamp and die. So I can make the lid all pretty. Um, so we're going to give this a go. I'm all set up so as it doesn't take forever because yeah, my video is quite long and I hate editing. Excuse the noise, but we've got building going on next door. That's fine. Um, right. So what we had to start off with was well, I wasn't even sure how to use the die sets and everything first. So I, I cut all different sorts of bits, I'll show you. I get to cut all these little bits. I was like, oh, how am I going to do it? Oh, there's all the different styles. Um, and, and then I worked out a way of putting it together so as I'd get what I wanted, which was basically, I'll show you. I really liked the mirror card. So I'd done the Art Deco like inlay. It was an Art Deco inlay, so I used that. Here it is, it's set up inside the die. So I used the outline die for the box set, and then I inlaid it with the Art Deco style die on all of the sections. So I'm going to run this through. As you're um, piercing the bits out, it can it can pull away and leave little tears um, so you do have to be kind of careful with that so I've got my Miri card set up bring in my tray for all the little bits and take off my sticky washi tape so a big hello to everybody that talks to me all the time Jimmy hi Melissa, hi, miss you, um, Beth, love you, uh, Kurt, ba Kurt Bay, been talking all the way through, keeping each other company, um, Terry, Liz, Bewitch, sending my love to you all. Now this bit we're going to use again to give a backing for it. Okay, I'll show you. So we've got to take out all my bits. And now, I'll, I'll put them there for now. Now this one's got the sec big section in the middle that's cut out. I've done, only done one of these like this. I'm going to put that at the front of the box. The rest of them are all with the plain square one. Let's get the pick out. We'll go through and pick out all these little bits that have stuck in still. You can be fiddly doing this. I want one of the ones that you roll over. It seems like every time you buy something to do crafting, you have to buy something else to do, like to use it with. <laughs> or is that just me? With the robbery and that. I'm um, a bit up in the air still with everything. Right quite emotional about it. I've looked after a lot of people around here, do you know what I mean? I would have thought people have more respect than that, but maybe not. I guess not in this day and age. We don't work how we used to. Most of the people around here I've known most of their lives, you know what I mean? And I've, I'm a very loving person. I truly love everyone I love, like everyone around me. Everyone I get involved with, I, I give them 100% love and respect and that loyalty it's all important to me always has been you can be a lot of things in this world and why not choose to be kind I need to go through it and score all of these which I'll probably do off camera in order to get the back going I've got some white card I think this is 350 GSM Either that one is or that one is. 
yeah I think it's 300 GSM actually so we'll fit this onto the white card as best we can <coughs> let's see which side of the card's better this one we don't want to waste too much of the card so we'll try and fit it on we use that sticky tape again like so Get there so it doesn't shift about like this is for the hobby craft die cutting manual die cutting machine so we'll line that up on there then i've got my cutting plate and i'll run that through the die cut machine now okay lovely it's not just cut out the card but it also cut so we can now massive bone, bone folder on this shows the box with the tabs coming out now i don't know if i want to do it tabs in or tabs out because i've done the decorative bit i suppose i should do tabs out shouldn't i it'll be like this and then we'll be either with the tabs out or the tabs in see if the tabs were in i'd want to cut that bit off really so yeah we'll go tabs out for this box and if i don't like it as much then i'll put the tabs in on the next one the gold and black one i plan to do for my mum okay then so we're back and we've got more creased and folded nicely so i've got this as the front piece so we need to glue that onto there you have to do it with tacky glue i would have liked to have done it with color glue but i haven't got any yet i'm going to order some as soon as i can what i'm going to try and do is blob some of this down here We'll start with that. So we'll go like this. I'm going to dab it off on my hand like Leanne showed us the other day. Excuse me for that. So as I can catch it on all those little edges. I'll try not to get too much of big blobs of it because that's what we'll um, squidge through. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's try it with the spatula, shall we? No, that sort of shows through worse than anything else. <laughs> As I say, for this particular job, I would have liked to have used collal glue because it doesn't warp paper at all because it's solvent based. Let's give this a go, shall we? I'm making a mess, guys. I'm a messy cow anyway. Our hand-eye coordination is rubbish. I'm going to have to clean these all up afterwards, I think. It's going to be a nightmare. But if you rub it, it does just come off. So, that's not too bad, I suppose. I'm doing the biggest box there, although you can go bigger. And then we'll give it a little fold on those creases again just to make sure that they're all in line with each other make sure all your edges are sealed together nicely it doesn't brush up too bad does it but it is quite a messy way of doing it <laughs> i'll bring you back when i've done it so now we've got from in this kit on the inside here you get this it's simple so simple now i've got a 10 sided box here yeah? draw around the edges this is the 10 ba sided base top and then this is for the uh, 10 sided base no. now we'll cut round there so we'll just follow the line round with our scissors And then I've got the uh, top, I've got a bit of white card at 300 uh, GSM and I've got this die cut now. Now I want to stamp it first actually, I didn't want that bit of scrap there, hang on. I'm going to stamp it, see I need to know what I'm doing because my brain's no good. 
Right, so can you see the stamp set? Yeah. Okay, over here, I've got my stamp uh, press. We are Memory Keepers Precision Press Plus. I've got to say I used it for stenciling the other day and I wasn't overly impressed with using it for that. I haven't tried the letter press yet though, I'm excited to try that. Anyway, now I tested loads of different ways of doing this to see which one would come up best. And as you can see, I've got all different ways of doing it. So, because we're going to emboss with this, I'm going to rub my anti-static bags, isn't it? So stop the um, embossing powder going all over the place. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm using the Versa Mark, the water mark stamp pad. I'm going to ink up with the Versa Mark on my stamp. Let that verse mark get in. While oh, that's doing that, I'll move that back over there. Okay, I think that should do it. And we've got the clear mark on there, can you see? I'm back to using my coffee filter for the moment. Oops, stick that on there. I've got this Wow, Wow Metallic Silver Regular Embossing Powder. And I'm covering all of the Versa Mark ink with that. I've probably well overdone it there for, for what you need, but I really want a good coverage. Without messing about too much. So I shake it around a bit and it seems to help it settle into some of that Versa mark and then stoop off. Now I'm going to tap it and heat tool. Changing. Oh, that's so pretty, I love it. Yeah. That's a nice example of heat embossing there. As I'm practicing more and more, I'm getting good at it or getting better at it than I was. Okay, so that's pretty much dry straight away to the touch. Yep. So then we'll bring in my die cutting. And I've got my tape here, washi tape. Cheap old battered washi tape that I've had for about 10 years. Never gonna use it on a card, so I might as well use it for this. Right, so now I, I need to die cut this out. I do find it hard to die, get the die sitting perfectly straight so as it's perfectly cut out, but I'll try my best. Yes, but you have to admit, I already do. Let's just break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball. Then we'll put that over like that cutting plate on top and we'll run that through the dye machine Ta-da! Job done Take that off It's almost spot on Oops, I nearly broke off the edge a bit then That's it this is the bit we glue it together with, so that's quite important. We've got nine others of these. So I believe how it works is um, we'll go like this. Oh, sorry. Pops, but I have 
to be me And everyone can see Your anger is misplaced And I'm gonna tell ya Don't need I think I might have to do Go away again and cut some more of these uh. Oh, it was the same amount But obviously not I did think they might not be Because they're so small But look, that's Okay, so I've got to do about what, so six or seven more. Okay, I'll bring you back when I've done that then. I realise that I'm going to need to stick it together to start getting it to form. That's going to be the top up. So, I'm going to get my clamp. We have to glue these bits together of the box. All the way round. Uh, and I want those, these bits at the top. Because I get attention. Don't turn me into what I'm not. We try and get it as flat as we can together. Mm -hmm. Squished. Okay, and then I'm going to clamp them together to try and make sure it's nice and solid. I have to be me 24 7 And I ain't never gonna stop No, 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 no No, 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 no No, 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 no No, 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 no And I ain't never gonna stop So, I guess the the base, so, I'm so confused, so this goes in here, like this, hold it in, ah, will you stop, wheels, <coughs> so that goes into the bottom there, and you glue all the tabs onto it, look, that fits in lovely. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, so now I've got to glue all the tabs to it. Okay. Come on. Listen to me. I've tried so many times to tell you this is as good as I... Look at the size of that. That would be great for bath bombs and some soaps and that, wouldn't it? I didn't realise it was going to be as nice a size as that actually I thought it would still be quite small but yeah it's come up lovely I'm really pleased with it alright I'll bring you back for the top in a minute it's the next day um, I had to take a break from it because it was getting late and so I made some extra um, ones of the mandala stamp and die sets to put them together to decorate the top here now this is the lid and what we're going to do is to make it so as it opens and shuts I mean you can make it so as it's permanently shut of course um, but to make it so as it can open and shut so as I can put like treats in there and that uh, but I'm thinking personally that this is going to be beautiful for some bath bombs and soaps gifts to people to actually present it as a really nice like Christmas gift or whatever um, or birthday or whatever you know I, I give um, that's what I tend to give people at every celebratory reason I give out what I've created so I'm going to stick like there's actually a little mark on this card so I'm going to cover it up with one of these tabs I've just been watching we wa I watched Viani and um, Coastal Crafts, hi Coastal, I see you all the time and um, I was watching Crafter's Companion earlier as well um, it's a lovely community to become a part of I'm really enjoying uh, associating in the crafting community I miss my soapy buddies but um, I will be making soap at some point as well I can't see why I can't do a bit of everything really, seeing as it 
my my videos are more about my life living with disability and all the things that I like to do to because I have to keep my mind busy even when I've been really fully disabled I cannot just lay there I, I used to when I was in bed bound state I would I would lay there but I would um be watching soap making videos and designing soap ideas and making up recipes and that and learning everything I could learn about everything to do with it um, and that's how I have got through being disabled I can't get the glue out I can be why isn't it enough to be I'm going to give some shout outs in a minute but I want everyone to um, know that there's a couple of people out there who have had my back through everything and um, been very supportive towards me um, and I love them very dearly like I'm not really a part of the paranormal community anymore I've kind of pulled away there's only really ETA that's um, I consider people that are nice to me so um, and of course elemental encounters I've always loved elemental encounters um, so I'm sort of just done, done with it all but there are some people in that community that I've met and, and and I love them to pieces, you know. They've been a big part of my life for the last year or two. Um, since I've been chatting more full time. And um, I'm, I'm grateful to you that have stuck by me. There hasn't been many of you, but the ones that have, like Terry, Elizabeth, Bewitched too, even though poor Bewitched had to take some time out from it all because it all got too much as well. And it does, it gets too much. The stress and, and the drama and silly behaviours. I just, I can't, I haven't got the energy for that stuff. Um, but anyway, onwards and upwards. Um, I want to say hi to Baz. I think Baz has been mistreated at times. And I want to say hi to Llama. Yes, the llama. Drama llama. I like um, the idea of karma llama better than drama llama as such. Um, um, but the man behind the llama, <laughs> uh, I consider him a really good friend, actually. Like, a very good friend. He's a, a decent bloke, and I think he was very much... Um, misconstrued in the initial stages of his time online and actually he's a really good guy he's got a lot of intelligence he's great fun to talk to and he's actually very very caring he puts a lot of effort into caring for other people I mean a lot of what I've seen him do has been because he felt protective of others and that's not a bad thing to be is it so, big ups to you, Lama, because, you know, you've actually been pretty real throughout the whole thing, and I respect that. So, right, there we've got our lid on. I've got allergies really bad. Faithful. I should have marked a middle, shouldn't I? Wish me luck, guys. Should I do it on top like that? Yeah, I don't know, Should it, will that work? I'm asking you guys like you can give me an answer me, stupid thing. I'm driving myself mad with the sniffing because when I come to edit in the videos, I'm like, oh my God, I've got to edit out every two minutes, me sniffing. Oh look, it's a little bit, tiny little bit. Ugh. Ow. And that's over here, it's slightly like just tiny overlap. Oops, you can't see it properly. Just at the edges of that one, it's not perfect, which is a bit sad. Now, what are we going to do with that middle section? I mean, it looks great, doesn't it, like, once you've got your items in the box, eh? So, like that. And then I suppose you could, if you wanted to tape it down a little bit, to give a parcel to someone. Or you can have it as an open box in your bedroom 
once you've used it, once you've like had it, received it, you can keep it as a trinket box or whatever. I should have just done one of these glued down because then it would have opened more. I think that was my mistake. But I'm still quite pleased with that to be fair. I'm going to find something for the middle. Hang on, I'll bring you back for that. And also be the hit of the pie. 